a high-level delegation led by the Speaker of Mongolian Parliament, Zandun Shatter, has arrived in Seoul for their participation in the Trans-Pacific Stability Dialogue International Conference scheduled to take place in the Republic of Korea from September 12th to 14th, 2023. On September 11, 2023, Speaker of Parliament of Mongolia, Zantan Shatr Komcho, engaged in a meaningful meeting with Ms. Kim yong ju the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly of the Republic of Korea. Expressing his delight at the reunion with the Vice Chairman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Korea, Speaker Zantan Shatr extended his gratitude for active involvement in the upcoming conference and her valuable contributions during their previous encounters. Ms. Kim yong ju in turn, expressed her happiness at the third meeting this year and conveyed the warm sentiments of her fellow National Assembly members, both from the majority and minority parties. They reminisced about the Speaker's hospitable reception during their delegation's visit to Mongolia and expressed their contentment with the interactions. About 60,000 citizens of our country reside and work in South Korea. Projects to the value of about 500 million won will be implemented in the fields of employment promotion. In order to support employment, it's planned to cooperate in the fields of preparing a workforce capable of working at the international level, developing training programs and supporting Mongolians working in Korea to return to their homeland to work and start their own businesses. Highlighting the significant strides made in bilateral relations, Vice Chairman Kim noted that she had visited Mongolia twice this year and emphasized the successful implementation of projects aimed at enhancing cooperation between two countries, particularly in the area of children's health. Despite challenges along the way, these projects have been successfully completed, thanks in no small part to the support and involvement of Speaker Zandun Shatter. Vice Chairman Kim regarded this meeting as an opportunity to present the project report and underscored the importance of Speaker Zandun Shatter's continued support in expanding cooperation across various sectors. From his part, Speaker Zandun Shatter expressed his heartfelt appreciation for Vice Chairman Kim's dedicated efforts in safeguarding the health of Mongolian children through their successful project implementation. He pledged his unwavering support for the future collaborative endeavors and stressed the vital role that cooperation between the highest legislative bodies of both countries plays in fortifying the political ties between Mongolia and the Republic of Korea and in enhancing the legal framework governing their relations. Furthermore, the Mongolian speaker provided insights into recent developments within Mongolia, including constitutional amendments, updates to the state great oral session rules, debate principles, and parliamentary inspection process reforms. Both parties concurred on the need to bolster the legal foundation of their cooperation to foster mutually beneficial economic relations. Following the discussions, Ms. Kim yong ju kindly extended an invitation to Speaker Zandun Shatter and the delegation to tour the National Assembly Hall of the Republic of Korea, providing them with valuable insights into the parliamentary proceedings of their Korean counterparts. 